ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ పాటిల్ సునీల్ కుమార్ ఎస్ ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ వాల్చి ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ టెక్నాలజీ సోలాపూర్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ న్యూమెరికల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆన్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఎస్ ల్యాబ్ లర్నింగ్ అవుట్కమ్స్ ఎట్ ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద సెషన్ లర్నర్స్ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు డిటర్మిన్ ద ఎఫెక్టివ్ హొరజాంటల్ స్పాన్ అండ్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ థిక్నెస్ ఆఫ్ స్లాబ్ డిటర్మిన్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్సో ఏబుల్ టు డిటర్మిన్ ద రీఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ ద స్లాబ్ అండ్ స్కెచ్ ద రీఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ అరేంజ్మెంట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ డిజైన్ ఏ రీఎన్ఫోర్స్డ్ కాంక్రీట్ స్లాబ్ ఫర్ ఏ రూమ్ ఆఫ్ క్లియర్ డైమెన్షన్ ఫోర్ మీటర్ బై ఫైవ్ మీటర్ ద స్లాబ్ ఈజ్ సపోర్టెడ్ ఆన్ ఆల్ ఫోర్ వాల్స్ ఆఫ్ విడ్త్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ ఎంఎం ద స్లాబ్ ఈజ్ టు క్యారీ ఏ లైవ్ లోడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ కిలో న్యూటన్ పర్ మీటర్ స్క్వేర్ అండ్ ఏ ఫ్లోర్ ఫినిష్ ఆఫ్ వన్ కిలో న్యూటన్ పర్ మీటర్ స్క్వేర్ యూజ్ ఎం ట్వంటీ కాంక్రీట్ అండ్ ఎఫ్ఈ ఫోర్ వన్ ఫైవ్ స్టీల్ అజూమ్ కార్నర్స్ ఆర్ హెల్డ్ డౌన్ స్కెచ్ ద డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ రీఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ సొల్యూషన్ స్టెప్ వన్ we are supposed to find out the thickness of the slab so the shorter span lx is greater than 3.5 so therefore take span by depth ratio 25 that is d is equal to 1 by 25th of span by 25 that we are said to be around 160 mm so the overall depth be 180 mm because the from effect to depth you have to add half the diameter of the bar and clear cover so that will give overall depth that is uh, 180 mm second step you have to find out the effective span effective span it is equal to clear span plus effective depth so it is 4 plus 0.16 in x direction 4.16 similarly in y direction it is 5 plus 0.16 it is 5.16 then you have to find out the ratio of uh, longer span to shorter span that is ly by lx that is 5.16 by 4.16 that also to be 1.25 which is less than 2 if the ly by lx is less than 2 then we are supposed to design a two way slab so hence we are supposed to design a two way slab next we have to find out the design moment and shear for that we have to do the load calculation first the dead load it is overall depth 0.18 into 1 into 1 into 25 that is 4.5 kilo newton per meter floor finishing load it is 1 kilo newton per meter square into 1 meter it is 1 kilo newton per meter live load it is 4 kilo newton per meter square into 1 it is 4 kilo newton per meter so total load is 9.5 kilo newton per meter so w that is the factored load it will be 1.5 times w so it is 1.5.9 5 times 9.5 that is 14.25 kilo newton per meter the slab is simply supported on all floor sides so the corners are held down by providing torsional reinforcement hence the moment coefficients are to be obtained from table 26 of is 456 and the case here it is case number 9 that is the last case of table 26 so we are supposed to find out the alpha x that is the coefficient for mu x and alpha y coefficient for mu y so alpha x from table number 26 it works out to be uh, 0.072 that is for 1 then again you are having the next uh, coefficient for that you have to interpolate plus 0.007 is the difference into 4 divided by 10 that was sort to be 0.0748 that is alpha x that is the interpolation between the two values of alpha x now alpha y is sim single value it is 0.056 so mu x is equal to alpha x into w u into lx square and mu y it is also equal to alpha y into w u into lx square only both are lx square so it works out to be 13.41 vu is the support reaction it is 14.25 that is wu into r4 upon 1 plus r4 r is ly by lx r is ly by lx so r4 upon 1 plus r4 because it is from plate theory we have derived it by using equal deflection at a single for the central point so into 
Lx by 2, it is 4.16 by 2, it was thought to be 17.96 kilo Newton. Then design main reinforcement. So we have to design main reinforcement. So we have to both the reinforcement in x and y direction are main reinforcement. Reinforcement in x direction for that effective depth is 160 mm. So mu limit is equal to x u max into d. So it is 0 0.48 for this case of 415. So therefore 0 0.48 into 160 it was to be 76.8 mu limit. So by using C into your arm, this is C, 0.36 FCKB X U limit is C, into your arm is D minus 0.42 X U limit. So this works out to be 70.63 kilo Newton meter. So MU is less than MU limit, hence it is under reinforced section. Find area of steel in X direction by using equation G 1.1B of IS 456-2000. Now MU we have already calculated in X direction it is 18.46 into 10 to the power of 6 that is to convert into kilo Newton meter into Newton mm. It is 0.87 FY into AST into D into 1 minus AST FY upon BD FCK. The values are substituted here. So AST was out to be 333.83 mm square using 10 mm bar. The spacing it is area of 1 bar into 1000 divided by AST which we have calculated above. So that was out to be 235.3 mm. Hence provide 10 mm diameter bar HYSD bars at 225 mm center to center. So this is the spacing of the reinforcement in X direction and it is we provide alternate bent up bars. Next we are supposed to calculate the reinforcement in Y direction. Again the Reinforcement in Y direction is also a main reinforcement. These reinforcement will be placed above the reinforcement in X direction. So hence the effective depth is calculated once again. It is effective depth D is equal to effective depth of previous case that is in X direction minus 8 that is uh, 8 mm uh, we are uh, supposed to we are providing 8 mm diameter bars so therefore it will be 152 mm is the effective depth. Now for from the relation again G 1.1 B we are supposed to calculate the area of steel in y direction m is equal to 0.87 Fy ASTD into 1 minus AST Fy upon BDFCK. MU in y direction is 13.81 into 10 to the power of 6. It is 0.87 Fy is 415 AST into D is 152 into 1 minus AST FY upon BDFCK. So we get AST as 260.9 mm square. Using 8 mm bars, spacing of 8 mm bars was thought to be pi by 4 area of 1 bar into 1000 divided by this AST calculated. So that was thought to be 192. So therefore provide uh, 8 mm diameter bars at 190 mm center to center. It is, it specifies the prescribed maximum limit of clause that is uh, that is 3D or 300 mm. The spacing should not be more than, it should be less than 3D or 300 mm. Next, we have to check it for shear. So, tau V, that is no, uh, nominal shear stress, it is VU upon BD, VU is 17.96 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by B, 1000 into 160 D. It is 0.112 Newton per m square. So we have to calculate percentage steel because we have to calculate first tau c, tau c from table number 19 of IS 456-2000. So in that first column is percentage steel, therefore we have to calculate percentage steel. So it is percentage steel is calculated, it is area of 1 bar into 100 divided by 225 is your spacing which we have we are providing for a 10 mm bar and this is a effect to depth D. So that was sort of 0 0.18, 0 0.218 percent. So, if you refer the table 19, we get tau C for this particular uh, percentage still 0.218. Uh, the tau C was out to be 0.33 Newton per m square for M20 grade concrete. So, enhancement factor for the slab that means as per 40.2.1.1. So, the permissible uh, shear carrying capacity is K tau C. It is K tau C. So, since the thickness of the slab is 180 mm, so it is K tau C was thought to be 
33 percent greater that is uh, 0.33 into 1.24 1.24 is the value of k so permissible stress stress is 0 0.409 uh, newton per m square so therefore tau c max again the tau v which we have calculated it should be less than tau c it should also be less than the uh, tau c max half the tau c max that also we should ensure so hence it is uh, shear reinforcement is not required in this particular case next last step check for deflection l by d provided is 26 and which should be less than l by d max so for l by d max again we have to refer figure number 4 of is 456 2000 so we have to find out f1 it is 20 into f1 f1 from the figure number 4 it was sort to be 1.6 for percentage still 0.128 and we have to calculate fs first then with respect to the uh, percentage still for this value of fs 240 newton per m square so it was sort to be 1.6 so 20 into 1.6 it is 32 which is greater than 26 so therefore l by d max is 1.6 times uh, 20 that is 32 which is greater than l by d provided hence deflection control is satisfactory then we have to provide a torsional reinforcement at corner the size of the max it is uh, lx by 5 four one uh, so it was thought to be 832 mm the size of the wall is to be added to it so it is 300 mm so 300 plus 832 it was thought to be 1100 mm area of torsional reinforcement is 3 fourth of area of uh, steel in x direction so that is 333.33 it was thought to be 250.01 so using 8 mm mesh we get 200 mm center to center the mesh of 8 mm diameter bars 200 mm center to center so then reinforcement at edge so it will be minimum steel ast 0.12 into 1000 into uh, d divided by 1000 it was thought to be uh, 216 mm so spacing of this particular steel so this was thought to be 232 mm so therefore provide 8 mm diameter bar 225 mm center to center it is the reinforcement in the edge strip which is as shown in figure number one now this is the figure which shows you the uh, reinforcement in x direction this is x direction and this is the reinforcement in y direction so reinforcement in x direction it is 10 mm diameter bars to 25 mm center to center so alternate bar bent up alternate bar is bent up or each bar is bent up once bent up is on x uh, this side and uh, shorter uh, on one uh, on right side and another bent up will be on the left side so similarly you get the reinforcement in y direction it is 8 mm diameter bar 190 mm center to center again bent up on one side for one bar and bent up on the other side for the another bar because the 50 percent of the steel should go up to end then these are the corner reinforcement mesh 8 mm diameter bar mesh at all four corners then this is edge steel edge strip steel in all four edge strips so these are the references used for this particular presentation. Thank you. Thank you one and all.